What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today I'm starting a new series. So uh, a lot of my friends uh, do video series where they just go through a box and show you what they have in their collection and in their comic boxes. Um, one of my mates, The Grey Man, almost every day he does a video where he picks a box and shows you what, what's inside that box. My buddy SuperRust9000, he also uh, often does live streams where he just goes through some of his boxes to show you what he has. Um, so this video series is a similar idea. However, I guess we all collect differently and we also, I'm guessing, organize our comics differently. So for me, I have all my red stuff sorted by publisher. So I've got DC Red, uh, you know, all my DC Red stuff, uh, my Image Red, uh, Marvel Red, there's not much going on in that box. Uh, but I also, as you probably know, I do a lot of cover buys. Uh, so I have tabs for certain characters like, you know, Sheena covers or uh, Red Sonya covers and things like that. So uh, I thought for each episode, I'd go through one of my tabs. And today I thought I'd ease you all into it uh, with one of the more liquidy tabs. Uh, this first episode is gonna be my Vampirella books. Let's do this. All right, so I got a fat stack of Vampirella books to show you, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this in not too much time. Uh, before I start though, if you guys do enjoy this video, if you wanna show this, uh, the channel some support, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how you sort your comics out. So, we're gonna kick it off with a slab. Um, this I obviously don't keep in my comic box. This is in my slab box, but I just remembered before I started the video that I have this, so I thought I'd kick it off with a slab. Um, so this is a Vampirella issue 19 from 2012. Uh, this cover is done by Jose Malaga, Malaga? I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, I'm terrible with names. Um, this was actually a gift from my buddy Remy Q Studios. Uh, he was nice enough to send me an AOK, -okay, and this he knows what type of books I like. Uh, so he got me that really cool Vampirella cover. So that's one there. And then the next few are actually more recent books. So these you've probably seen if you watch my weekly haul videos. Uh, these are all fairly recent that I recently haven't even put into my box yet. But I, I pulled these ones aside. Um, this is Vampirella Unholy uh, issue two. Um, Dynamite were doing a whole bunch of uh, homage covers. They did a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, homage covers. They also did, I think, a ASM 300 um, homage cover series. Uh, this was the Vampirella one. I bought a lot of these variants and the more I look at them, the more I realize I don't really like them. The Vampirella one's actually not too bad. Some of them are pretty bad. Um, next, we've got some more Vampirella Unholy. That is a nice Shannon Mayer cover there. What is not to like about that? That is very lick worthy. All right, let's keep going. Adam Hughes, we've got two of these, so I only have to show you one. I really like this Adam Hughes cover. Um, I do try to collect Adam Hughes covers. And this one, out of all the Vampirella ones he's done so far, I think this is the best one. Um, just a fun cover. Um, Dracula stealing the blanket from Vampy there. Do you mind? I don't mind at all. Uh, this is another artist I really uh, really like. This is Zoe Lachey. Lachey, I'm not too sure how to pronounce her name. Lackey even, I don't know. Uh, I really like her art style. Um, and I don't have too many of her covers because she often does exclusives. This is not an exclusive, just a standard variant cover for the Vampirella series. This is not her best work. Um, this is not one of my favorite covers from her. I still like that one. Um, I really like how um, skimpy the Vampirella uh, outfit is on that one. Might have to see if they have one of those on Etsy. I still need to get Captain Saru a Vampirella cosplay outfit. All right, this next one. Um, I can't remember the artist's name or how to pronounce it. It's S, starts with an S, Suga. I'm not even gonna bother. Um, I dig this cover, that is a beauty. I uh, really like that one, I'm pretty sure I've got two of those, the second one's probably somewhere else, but um, that is a really nice one there, Vengeance of Ramparilla. Uh, next one, we got some more Adam Hughes. This is not bad, I'm not huge on the face that Adam Hughes did on this one, but I'm a big fan of the under boob that he has done in this. Now, if you don't know what under boob is, I'll have a video that shows up here right now that will explain to you what under boob is. Um, so that is a nice Adam Hughes one there. Um, this is Rose Besh, um, an artist that my girlfriend Captain Saro loves. I don't mind her work. Uh, again, this is not one of my favorite covers. This one here is another Rose Besh. Um, very anime sort of style, cutesy sort of style. It's not everyone's thing, but um, I don't mind it. I don't mind those type of covers. 
Another Shannon Mayer cover right here. Boom. Dracula Unholy. That one's alright. Have a good look before I take that one. Um, this is another Zoe the Shade cover. Now I love this one. So this one, uh, even though it's just a face cover, you know me, I like some body in my covers, but uh, this is a cool Vampirella Zoe the Shade cover. Really dig that one. That's awesome. All right. All right, so these are the ones that I had in my Vampirella tab. These ones I had sitting in like other boxes that I still need to file away. So this is actually what was in my Vampirella box. These ones are a little bit older, but not that old. This next one is actually kind of old. Uh, this is Vampirella number eight. This is my only Jenny Frizen Vampirella cover. I'm really glad that I finally got, oh, let's get that clear out of the way. I'm really glad I got one of these into my collection. Um, I was wanting one for all. She's done a bunch of them and there's some that I really, really want. Uh, and Captain Saro went out and bought a whole lot of them. So she's got a lot of the ones that I want. So uh, whatever, um, but I'm glad I've got at least one in my collection. So happy to have that. Uh, this is some more Adam Hughes goodness. This is Vampyverse issue one. I'm always a fan of upside down girls. There you go. Uh, so that's, um, that's not a bad one. It's not the worst, it's not the best, but it is what it is. So I ordered my books two months in advance and something that Dynamite often do is they don't have the most, the covers that are coming out. They'll have a picture and it will have in brackets underneath um, that it may be the cover from the previous month. So sometimes you order stuff and you've actually, you don't know what you're ordering. So this one here, I think wasn't one that I normally would have ordered. And I'm not saying that I don't like the cover. It's just not really the style of cover that I normally would get for a Vampirella cover, but I actually still dig that cover. It's still a nice cover. I know you guys are like, oh, you just want to see her boobs. And it's just like, why else would I buy Vampirella? So here's some Vampirella facts for you uh, and simple Simon facts. Out of all these Vampirella books that I have, I've actually only really read one Vampirella book. And this is the one. Uh, and I didn't enjoy it. Uh, Vampirella was hardly in the story. It didn't really give me a good insight into the character. But this is, I believe, a Frank Cho cover. Um, a Vampy issue one there. I think that was also my first Vampirella book that I ever bought. Um, now, something I didn't know about this that I learned from my buddy Bub's world. Uh, he said that that's actually Frank Cho's um, pen. He did that in pen. So that's actually amazing that you can draw like that in pen. It's actually also a wraparound. I'm not gonna undo the bag to show you guys, but believe me, that is a wraparound cover. Don't know who did this cover. In fact, again, not one that I normally would order. Actually, this won me around on my one appearance on Comic Curries. Um, this is, uh, I think they had gargoyle covers and I chose this as a gargoyle cover. And I'm pretty sure that side boob there uh, got me the win. And into the final round. I think I used that and I got myself into the final round of the finals. And then I lost to uh, Hilaire, who is a Comic Curries legend. So that's that one there. Sentimental, that one. All right, next. Uh, Perillo, we haven't seen any Perillo yet, so let's get into some Perillo covers. Vampirella 18, that's a nice one there. I've kind of jumped off Perillo covers. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're all kind of similar after a while, so I, I kind of don't get them now unless they're really mind-blowing. This one's Vengeance of Vampirella number 15. Um, so yeah, sexy lady with a stake going through a vampire's head, I'm assuming. Oh, I love this one. This one actually just found on eBay randomly, and I was like, I love this cover. Just love the pose that she's in. She's got her tongue out. That is super lick worthy. Um, I have to get that one. So I don't know who the artist is for that, but banger. Um, this is another one by that artist. I can't remember her, his name. Um, very similar to the other one, actually. The same pose as the other one I showed earlier, so that's interesting. Biting yourself. Some blood. I know Bub's World is not a fan of blood. Blood and sexiness don't match apparently. Speaking of blood and sexiness, this is about, this is proof that blood can be sexy. This is the Art Germ. Um, the Art Germ Vampirella cover. Uh, beautiful Art Germ work. Yes, I must admit it is kind of ruined by the uh, blood acetate, but it's a cool idea for a cover. So if you have a problem with the acetate, I'll make up for it with this one. Here's the same cover, but in a nice shiny foil. Woo! Look at that. Let's see if we can get that a good look at that. Ooh. That art is spot on. Like, if you don't like art germ, you'd still have to say that that is a fantastic cover. 
So big fan of that cover. Some more Shannon Mayer here. So I mostly have modern Vampirella books as you probably noticed. Um, what I'd love to get is get into some of those old Vampirella magazine type ones. Um, but they're just hard to come by down here in Australia and um, yeah, it's not something I'm really going to go out of my way to get. All right, uh, this is another beautiful Prillo cover. Um, I love the glossiness of it, like just real looking sort of body sweat or something there. Uh, I really dig those on covers. Uh, it just really gives it that realism. So love that cover there with their little demon dogs. Another Perillo here, boom, boom. Another very sexy looking cover there. Let's bring that a bit closer for y'all. There we go. Um, yep, that's a nice one. We have another Shannon Mayer. Um, I was stoked that Shannon Mayer jumped on this series because he, um, he usually does exclusives. Now there is one thing I must say. With these Vampirella Shannon Mayer covers, compared to his exclusive covers you buy from whoever's comicstore.com, they definitely don't have the same, like they're still digital, but they don't have the same, they don't look as digitized as some of those exclusive ones. But um, nonetheless, great covers. Um, this is another one now. I think I found out that this is meant to be like an homage to some female, I can't remember the band, some band and their singer or something. Um, so there's that. Uh, just love, I didn't actually initially order this, I think. And then I got FOMO about it because um, really beautiful looking cover there. So I got that one there. This next one is a Peach Momoko cover. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like Peach, but I don't mind that cover. It's not the worst. So I've got that one in the collection as well. This one, another Jenny Frizen. I lied. I said I didn't have a Jenny Frizen Vampirella cover except for the other one. This was actually my first Jenny Frizen Vampirella cover. In fact, when I bought this, I had no idea that it was a Jenny Frizen cover. <laughs> so um, that is also a fantastic cover. I love that. I also like collecting, I collect cards, playing cards. Uh, so I always love um, covers that have card related type themes. So yeah, really glad to have that one. Now, more Perillo. Oh my goodness. This one, yeah, uh, just is what it is. Great cover. Um, and oh, man, this is one of my favorite Perillo ones. Just this is just about as sexy as a Perillo cover gets. The only thing that's off-putting is probably those big ass bat wings that are coming out of the back. But if you can just ignore those and think that that's something else, that cover is just <laughs> lick worthy to the max. So yeah. bang in that one. Yep. Uh, here's another peach. This is from the Dynamite series, um, where it's like their kind of multiverse, I guess, where all the Dynamite characters come together. So I, I got that one. Ooh, here comes some girl on girl action. Um, I didn't know which box to put this in, Vampirella or Red Sonia, but here comes Vampirella and Red Sonia, all bladed up, about to make out. Um, yeah, just again, is what it is. This next one, I love homage covers and I was really surprised. This was the first Vampirella cover that I saw that was, I guess, an homage. Uh, and I saw it on the shop, so I had to get this. So this is a homage to Amazing Spider-Man issue one. Very cool, who would have thought. So I had to pick that one up. Another Peach Momoko. Whoa, I didn't even know I had this one. Oh, I just forgot that I had this one. Um, that's like a close up. They've done a few covers where it's exactly the same cover, but they've zoomed in and then made it a different cover. It's really bizarre how Dynamite do their thing sometimes. I feel like they recycle their stuff. This is another one by that artist who I can't pronounce their name. Starts with Ness. I uh, love that one too. So that's a nice one there. Really nice aesthetics on that one. I always love that one where they've got the some kind of guy or Grim Reaper in this case behind the lady as well. I always love those type of covers too. Oof, here we go. Here comes the upside down ones. Love the upside down vampy vamp or whoever character you want it to be. So there's another nice one there. And we've got another Shannon Mayer coming up. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, it's funny with some of these artists, like, I love, you love them when you first discover them, and then, like, the more you see them, you kind of get over it. So I'm a little bit over Mayer's most recent ones, but I'll still buy them. Uh, this is another one from the Suggests, I don't know how to say their name, but 
There's that there. Ranges of Vampirella. It's cool. Another Perillo. And there, bit of a butt cover there. Yeah. Butt cover. Um, this is a nice Shannon Mayer cover, like this one. Where is she? She looks like she's on Mars in the background there. So maybe it's a crossover with Deja Thoris or something, I don't know. But that is a nice, nice Shannon Mayer cover. Boom, boom. Got some more Perillo action. Um, see, this is one that I would say that I don't necessarily need. It's kind of similar to a lot of his other works, but I've got it. Um, Prillo, always does good stuff. This is another Prillo one. This one, the face is actually done a little bit different than what he usually does in FPS. So, good to get some different faces sometimes. She's covering up something there. Here's another Perillo licking the blood off her hand. I must agree with Bubs on this one. I don't know if that turns me on because if she did that to me, I'd kind of be scared. Um, this is my first Rose Besh cover. Uh, maybe not my first first, but this was when I first found out who she was. Uh, this was actually a an AOK -OK from Denk. I won one of his giveaways and he threw this in as an AOK -OK because he knows I like me some Liquority. And that is a really nice Rose Bash one. So yeah, shout out to Denk for that one. Some more Shannon Mayer. That's a nice face and some nice side boob on that one. Like that. Ooh, hopefully this video feels like it's been going for a while. All right, uh, what else we got? Vampirilla 19, another Perillo, very nice. Uh, this next one is not a nice one. <laughs> I actually don't know why I bought this one. This is, next one is a J. Scott Campbell. Oh, look. Sometimes I look at this and it's not that bad. The first time I looked at it, I didn't think it was that bad. And then I bought it. And then I, I looked at it a couple of times and I was like, this is not a great cover. The face on that is not fantastic. That's a J. Scott Campbell Manfarella cover. Yeah, here's what it is. So, there's that. And I've got, this is another art jam. This is a nice one. So, not quite as nice as the other art jam, but it's still a nice art jam cover. Boom. We've got some Gillam March coming up. I really did Gillam March. He's been doing some covers of Draculina lately, which is a current series. I'm not really digging his uh, Draculina stuff. But these vampy covers, I love. I love that. Woo! That's a good one. Alright, so there's that. Another Gillen March. I like that one too. Very nice. Uh, this one, I love. This one, super sexy. Love that. How's that? Beautiful cover. On the blue, not so dark. I kind of like those covers too. Oh, when they're not so sort of dark and gloomy and full of skulls and dead bodies. Uh, this is another Shannon Mayer cover. Go there. And I actually don't know what this last one is. Uh, I don't know who did this one, but whew, if you look closely, I'm not going to point it out, but you know, if you look closely. It's a um, nice one there. Now that was the last one, however, I just realized they're within reach. So I did get some stuff from Perillo's partner, Carla Cohen. Um, in my birthday mystery box. So I will find those quickly and show you those too because they're bangers. All right, so this next one is a Carla Cohen book. Um, I believe, yeah, it is Vampirella. Uh, look at this one. This is also signed by um, Carla Cohen herself. Beautiful cover there. Uh, Carla Cohen is one of my favorite cover artists. Absolutely love that. Have a good look there. Look at how glossy. Is that my or something? Woo! See our way on the back there. No worries. Here comes another one, again signed by Carla Cohen. If you guys want to see my Carla Cohen mystery box, uh, I'll leave a link to the video in the description, probably at the end of the video. But there's another one there. Um, that's a one. This is from Perillo. So obviously they got married recently, uh, but she included this, which is a Perillo, signed Perillo one. Ooh, hoo -hoo, got some signed Perillo in my collection. It's so awesome. So dig that. And then we'll wrap it up with this one, which is absolute winner of a cover. Um, this has got to be one of my favorite Vampirella covers. Again, signed by Carla Cohen herself. Oof, look at that. If my tongue was long enough, I'd lick it from here. There are my Vampirella books. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I will have more videos like this coming out where I go through my other tabs. 
Hopefully this video didn't go too long, but if you're still watching, I do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you haven't already, uh, and I'll leave a few links to the channels I mentioned maybe in the description below as well, and some other videos. So yeah, check it out, leave a comment, and until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends, and keep it simple.